I'd say it was about a year and a half or two years ago when I became a complete morning person. I started waking up way earlier and found that the morning hours are when I was most productive. But still, waking up that early was not easy. Every day I would feel super tired and it was always hard to get out of bed. But as I've continued to wake up early, learn how my body reacts to certain things, I've developed a pretty solid routine that makes it easy to wake up early and feel good every morning. A lot of the way you feel in the morning starts with the things you do the night before. The first thing I started doing was using Night Shift on my iPhone. What Night Shift does when you turn it on, it suppresses the blue light that your phone screen outputs between the time when the sun sets and the sun rises. Blue light has been proven to suppress melatonin production. It's important that you cut out blue light a significant amount of time before you're going to bed. The second thing I started doing that helps me fall asleep quickly is about 30 minutes to an hour before bed, I'll take a super hot shower. The last two to three minutes of my shower, I'll turn the water as hot as it goes. It heats your body up a lot and it makes you really warm, which may sound counterproductive, but being this warm, it goes into rapid cooling mode and your body cools down very quickly, which is ideal for sleep. I've noticed that when I started doing this, I fall asleep way faster. I never feel hot when I'm going to bed. I fall asleep quickly. It's been one of the best things I've done to improve my sleep. I try to read at least 30 minutes before bed as well. This helps me take my mind off the worries of the day, of the world. It helps me focus on something else and not worry about everything else that's going on in life. The crucial thing I do before bed that helps me wake up feeling great is every night I drink a tall glass of water right before I go to bed. One of the worst things when I first started waking up early is how crappy I felt in the morning. I often had a headache or felt super tired and just didn't want to get out of bed. And I noticed that drinking a glass of water before bed helps keep me hydrated throughout the night so that I wake up and I feel a little better. One thing that I bought recently that's been awesome is my sunset sunrise light. Turn it on and it's a very bright light that lights up your room and then when you're ready to go to bed you click this button so over the course of this 30 minutes the light will slowly dim and turn a little bit more red and looks like a sunset in your room and again I've just noticed this helps me relax a lot and especially in these winter months where the sun sets at 4 or 5 p.m. and it's dark that whole time this kind of re-simulates the sunset and helps me get a better night's sleep. And it does the same thing in the morning. You can set it on a timer so that it slowly turns on and simulates a sunrise. And since I wake up pretty early, again, the sun doesn't rise for another two or three hours. One of the hardest things I found about waking up is when you get up in the dark and you go turn on the light and it really hurts your eyes. This kind of solves that. Because the light slowly turns on when you wake up, your eyes are already kind of adjusted to the light and there's no painful flip of the switch in the morning. As I mentioned before, a lot of times I would wake up feeling really crappy with a headache, just kind of like a sick feeling. I found that that's usually because I'm dehydrated. So one thing I do to combat this is, like I do before going to bed, I'll wake up and immediately drink a glass of water. But this time I'll just put a little bit of salt in it. This helps hydrate me and it's just a great way to start the morning. A nice cold glass of water it wakes you up, hydrates you, and it usually gets rid of that headache or anything you're feeling in the morning. I'm a very big fan of coffee and think it's a very useful tool as far as productivity and waking up and staying awake. But one thing I've learned recently is that you should never drink it immediately after you wake up. There's been studies that show when you do this, it causes that afternoon crash, which I was experiencing. I would wake up and the first thing I would consume would be a cup of coffee. And sure enough, around 2 or 3 p.m. every day, I'd feel like I'd need a nap and it was an endless cycle of feeling tired. So what I've learned is that if you you wait at least 60 minutes to 90 minutes after you wake up to drink coffee, it helps you avoid that afternoon crash. There's research behind this that supports it. I don't know it off the top of my head, but if you watch any of Andrew Huberman's videos, he will explain in very scientific terms why that is. I took his word for it and tried it out myself, and, and ever since I started doing that, I've avoided that afternoon crash. So immediately after my glass of water in the morning, I like to just read something just to get my mindset right for the day. Currently, I've just been reading a page out of 
the Daily Stoic book by Ryan Holiday. And it just, it just kind of sets you up for the day and it's just something positive in your morning to start your day. The next thing I do in the morning to feel good is try to work out as soon as I can. When you start doing this, it's very hard. The last thing you want to do when you're up early is go to the gym. But I've noticed that getting active in the morning wakes me up right away. It helps me clear the morning fog and get focused for the rest of my day. Whether it be weightlifting or even just a walk on a treadmill, I think that some sort of exercise in the morning is very beneficial. After my workout, I'll come home and do a cold shower. This has similar effects to the hot shower before bed. A cold shower is really going to cool your body down, which causes it to go into rapid reheating mode. And the way your body functions is it cools down at night while you're sleeping and while you're awake, it heats up. So this helps your body heat up faster and just helps you feel more awake. It also just shocks your system a little bit. And I've noticed it wakes me right up. And usually after my cold shower, I'll get ready for the day. And then that's when I'll have my coffee. And by then I'm already feeling awake and good to go. And the coffee just gives me that added boost. So these are just some of the things that I've been doing to help my morning feel a little better. I've noticed that it's much easier to wake up every morning and I feel much better every morning, which is great. When you have a productive morning, it sets the tone for the entire day and helps you accomplish more stuff throughout the day. So I think that setting up your nighttime and morning routine properly is very important to increase your productivity and, and ultimately achieve more during your day. I hope this video brought you some sort of value. Let me know if you're planning on trying any of these things or you already do any of these things and let me know how the results go for you. If you have anything you do in your morning routine that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to give it a try and see how it works for me. I'll see you guys in the next video.